Well, I'm delighted to be here to demonstrate my um, ongoing support to get this um, Queensbury Tunnel reopened. It'd be fantastic for local people and for the regional economy. You know, I think it's really important for us to remember that for future generations going forward, this is a jewel in the crown. But also 10 men gave their lives um, building this and you don't get things like this back again. Once they're gone, they're gone. <laughs> I think it can have benefits in a, in a whole range of areas, not you know, for the local economy, for the tourism uh, economy, uh, but also to help people just locally who want to walk, cycle, enjoy the local environment. Uh, you know, there's a whole range of benefits. It, it, sometimes it's beyond just economics, although I'm sure there would be an economic benefit too. I mean, it makes sense to spend money making it safe, but once it's been made safe, surely the priority then should be to make sure that people can enjoy it and benefit from it. No point making it safe and then filling it in. That seems completely pointless to me. <laughs> what I've seen is really inspiring, uh, to actually see the, the physical tunnel um, the engineers working on it and meeting the cyclists and local residents, it, it really does leave uh, optimism with me that we can turn this into something which is absolutely beautiful for the rest of the country for, to attract tourism. And with Victoria Yorkshire and the kind of boom that we've got in cycling, to be able to play its part on a national scale, absolutely amazing. The potential is really, really exciting. Mm -hmm.